Did you listen to that? Pranams to all of you. In this video, we are going to share with you all how to make compost, organic compost at home in an easy way. There are many ways to do this, but what I am going to describe, explain, is what we are doing here at home. So instead of wasting, throwing away all your kitchen, vegetable fruits waste, raw vegetable fruits waste and so on into the garbage, you can convert them into organic manure, compost. Especially for those people who are involved in organic garden, organic terrace garden. In fact, I would suggest, sincerely, deeply suggest that all of you should, must, somehow take this very interesting activity, organic terrace gardening, in your own homes. Now, even if you are staying in a flat, the balcony space, good enough. Buy some, you know, 8 to 10 grow bags and grow your own vegetable, whatever little, greens, and eat organic, natural, fresh vegetables and fruits at least two or three times a week. So, for those people who are engaged in organic terrace gardening and so on, how to make compost is a very, very essential, important element of gardening. So, first of all, now before you begin uh, to do the, make the compost out of your kitchen and fruits and vegetables waste, you have to get a drum, a plastic drum, 50 to 100 liters, whichever suits you, whichever is comfortable, depends on your uh, home, you know, surrounding the garden and so on. So buy a drum, a plastic drum, <coughs> fix a tap at the bottom of the drum. Why? Because as you go on adding the waste, kitchen waste and so on, over a period of time, fluid accumulates at the bottom of the drum and for that liquid that fluid to drain out you have to fix a tap of course i'll show you all that in the in the demonstration that follows this talk also put holes in the drums around the drum you know about 10 to 12 holes here and there even spaces top middle the bottom layer of the drum for aeration. After having got the drum and done all these things, then we add the things that will eventually turn into compost. These are the things that we need to add in the compost drum. Garden soil, cocoa pith, dry leaves, cardboard pieces or paper pieces, dry neem seeds powder, what, what we call in Tamil, vepam punnak, vegetable waste, fruits waste. And finally, when you put all these, you know, layer after layer, we pour what is called waste decomposer or EM liquid or even sore buttermilk so that the microorganisms grow. Right? So, 
how to put what to put first second and all that we are going to talk about that you know when i show you the video about how we do that and after the drum is full you have filled up the drum with all your you know kitchen waste and what what have you close the lid and keep it there in a shady place not directly under the sun in a shady place and allow it to be there for about two and a half three months right so that it the waste and whatever things that we have put in the drum that becomes compost gradually now it will be better if you have two or three or four drums because once with the first drum is full the uh, incoming kitchen waste and fruits and vegetable waste you have to add in the second drum and when that is full the third drum and maybe the fourth by the time you go to the third or fourth the first drum would be ready with a compost it takes about two and a half three months you know it turns into black powdery soft you know material the compost so this is how you do it and uh, one one uh, you know suggestion that i would make is do not waste any of your vegetable fruits raw vegetable fruits kitchen waste at all don't throw it in the garbage use that to make compost like this and this compost when it is ready you can use that in all your plants potted plants garden plants everywhere very very nutritious for the plant very effective this is natural organic manure so let's go and watch how we do this first i'll show you the ingredients what are the things to be put and then i'll demonstrate along with my wife how to add all these things okay and uh, you know things like waste decomposer em i will give you the link of all this in the you know in the online shopping in the description column you can watch that maybe you can buy that whatever okay so let's watch the demonstration thank you pranam So today in this video we are going to learn how to make compost at home an easy way So we are going to demonstrate to you how to make this compost at home using all the kitchen waste and what have you at home So Let's begin the demonstration. So watch carefully and listen to the instructions. First and foremost, you have to buy or procure a drum like this, a plastic drum. Anywhere from 50 liters to 100 liters, whichever is convenient to you. buy a drum like this and with a domestic drilling machine make holes around the drum like this on all sides also add a tap at the bottom this is to drain the fluid that accumulates in the drum after some time so these holes are there for aeration this is a must you have to ho have holes in the drum and the tap 
for drainage. Okay, this is the first step. One of the things that we are going to put in the drum for the compost making is what is called coco pit. This is how it comes. This is a 5 kilo pack. You have to add a lot of water into this. So gradually this will bloat up and become powdery, soft and light. So this is coco pit as it comes from the shop. This is how the coco pit becomes after we add water and dry it. This is coco pit powder or in the powdery form. This is what we are going to add along with the other things like kitchen waste and so on in the drum. This is another thing that we are going to add in the drum. This is garden soil. Slightly reddish in color. Garden soil along with the other things that we add in the drum. This is also a must. Garden soil. This is another thing that we are going to add in the drum. These are all cardboard pieces. You can even add paper. Cut them into small pieces like this. And we are going to add this also in the drum for the compost making. Cardboard pieces. This is yet another thing that we are going to add. As you can see, these are dry leaves. This is also one of the things that we add in the drum for the compost making. Dry leaves. This is the kitchen waste. Vegetable waste, onions, peels and so on and so forth. This is what later becomes compost with the help of the other things that we add in the drum. So vegetable waste. Not cooked ones, uncooked raw vegetable kitchen waste. Now in the kitchen waste, add a little cocoa pit like that. Mix it well, like that. Little cocoa pit. So that it is spread all over evenly. Another thing we add, this is called neem seeds dry powder. In Tamil, we call it Vepam Punak. Very medicinal. This also helps very much in composting the vegetable waste and make it into a nice form. Vepam Punak or Neem Seeds Dry Powder. As you can see now, the drum is empty, so we are going to add those things one by one. This is one of the order, first we add garden soil like this, see that, garden soil. Just two or three cups. Garden soil. Next we add cocoa pit. 
as I had shown you earlier, cocoa pit. This is how we add. Next we add the cardboard pieces or pieces of paper, whichever is available. Cardboard pieces like that. Now we add that kitchen waste plus cocoa pit mixture into the drum. Like that. We put all that inside. It's done. And now we add dry neem seeds powder. Vepam punaka. Little bit. Dry leaves on top of this. Like that. And on top of this, add some garden soil. Now on top of this, we add what is called waste decomposer solution or EM solution for the microorganisms to grow and flourish in this medium. So waste decomposer or even sour buttermilk or EM that is what we add finally. So this is how it looks after three months, roughly two and a half, three months, this is how the compost will look. Maybe a few more months, a couple of weeks or more, it will become more powdery, little blackish and soft. So this is your kitchen vegetable raw waste, vegetable and fruits waste, this is how it becomes and all this can be used for all of your plants as fertilizer, organic natural fertilizers. fact you can have more than one drum you have to have more than one drum because once one drum is full you will have to take up the second drum and maybe the third and fourth to fill up the drum with your kitchen waste so maybe after three months you can take the first drum open it and take the Compost and that's how you rotate. Okay?